Hi everyone, this is Miral from Kilone. Today I'm going to talk about my journey with one of my uh, favorite retailers, Plant Toys. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit of how I came across Plant Toys and the role it played uh, towards my formation of Kilone. So I immigrated to the United States as, on a J1 as a postdoctoral fellow at Hopkins and um, it was 10 years ago and then um, we started planning a family, me and my husband. When I got pregnant with my firstborn, um, my pregnancy was very hard and I did not know how the healthcare system in the United States works so I had a choice and unfortunately I was actually, I was not left with much of a choice. I was, uh, I had to make the hard decision to pause my career in medicine and uh, take care of my son because of the cost, uh, the care of cost of newborn, the lack of maternity leave, um, my husband being the sole breadwinner and me having not, uh, I did not have the financial ability to take care of everything while working. So. Having said that, um, I came back. I came from an academic background, so my parents always encouraged academics because that was like the scarcity mindset, and that's the mindset we come with when you come to the United States. The immigrant population is working hard. There's very little room and very less flexibility uh, for playing and encouraging extracurricular activities. So for me, I was a bookworm. Uh, my parents encouraged all kinds of readings, but they do not have the time or the money for anything else. So uh, my son, when he was 18 months old, my husband began to uh, feel uneasy that he wasn't speaking at par with other kids. Again, comparison came into play. My pediatrician at the time thought it was no issue, but still she redirected us to head, head first, which is... Uh, which we qualified for at the time because my husband came to Baltimore for us to, he, we had to pretty much begin over, you know, we had to start over. When I remember that when my, uh, the speech therapist comes to my small apartment and she's like, okay, so do you have any toys for the baby? And I was like, no, I do not have any toys. Now you need to understand the mindset. I am at this point a trained physician and I am pursuing pediatrics, ironically. And and she she looks at me and she's like, what? And I'm like, yes, he doesn't play with anything. He plays with spoons and, you know, he plays with the, he likes to sp uh, pull out stuff from the drawers and, you know, regular toddler things that I wasn't familiar with. Um, having said that, um, she brought to us um, a toy, a plant toy, uh, at the moment, I, did, I wasn't familiar with the brand plant toy, but she uh, brought a plant toy toy and my son immediately began to play with it. It was something, um, it was like, a, it was a vehicle that you could take apart and then you could screw it back on. And I mean, his fine motor skills weren't that good, but he really enjoyed it. And then she brought other few items, but he kept going to the plant toy item he went back to the non-flashy uh, very least excitable item okay and that was pretty amazing to me because like i said i did i i, I solved part of the puzzle whenever we bought anything from walmart any run-of-the-mill toy my son did not play with it so i just concluded that oh he doesn't play with anything and then the basic thing that was missing is that i didn't know the importance of playing okay i did not know how it improves fine motor skills. I did not research or did not care to research that it uh, develops problem solving. It helps children play. Uh, it helps children develop their ability to share and play in, uh, in groups. You know, uh, I did not know that it could develop leadership skills. I there, There's like a huge array of information available that was available to me too, but I just thought it wasn't important because it was never thought or given any importance in my house. So, having said that, um, ten years of home, uh, ten years of staying at home, and a few years of homeschooling, uh, joining the Instagram community, uh, collecting, you know, toys from around the globe. Um, Plant toys my was my introduction to sustainable toys. So they have a very, I have a very unique relationship with this brand. I have 
been purchasing these toys on and off for 10 years and I've been gifting them too because I realized the importance of uh, not only having a toy that my one of my children is going to play it with and then it goes through the garbage. I wanted a toy that all of my kids could eventually play with it and I could, you know, pretty much pass it on to some other child. And then I also started gifting them because I... That was my way of bringing advocacy in uh, and, you know, the message of sustainability and the message of uh, imp the importance of toys to my own circle, okay? Um, having said that, why would... How does being introduced to plant toys eventually lead me to opening the store? Like I said in the vid in a previous video, you are made up of every human being is gently being shaped every single day, every single second of it through experiences. Okay, there is no, there's nothing called zero sum. Um, to give you an example, homeschooling helped me realize that I am an avid gardener, and I'm an I I love to bird watch. Okay. I keep telling you people how old I am because some people would say, okay, these things, some of these things are developed as you're growing up. But when you are growing up in an immigrant household and when you have, when resources are scarce and uh, playing and going outside, observing nature are thought of as things that are wasteful, then you do not develop this automatically. Even being a physician, even being in grad school, and then money has nothing to do with it. Money will bring you opportunities. But let me give you an example of my husband. Uh, my husband um, grew up with more wealth than I did, and he had more opportunities than I did. Uh, he went to high. He went to college uh, in the United States, and he stayed here and he made his fortune here. And then a couple of years ago, when I wanted to start. Uh, when I wanted to learn how to ski and swim because I'm not ashamed to tell you I didn't know of any of these things and I started late. I was in my late 20s. I did not have the resources as a child to pursue these sports. My husband was fine with swimming but because that is something he had seen but he was not fine with me skiing and he's like that's a white sport. Um, so this is a mind block. It's not that he did not have the resources. It, it, it's not that his parents ever told him this, but in his mind as a child, he knew that there are some, he needs to stay in his lane. So he had no idea that there are, there, he could be anything. There, this concept does not exist in his head. He's like, everybody can be some things. So he, he, he unknowingly in the situation which we grow up we put ourselves in a box and Kelone is here to uh change your mind change your mind uh with uh, you know follow us come to us we are in maryland um we have a wide array of plant toys and other sustainable toys with us um we are going to change your mind i am going to change your mind i am on a mission to change your family's mind a child doesn't grow up um in a vacuum it, it, it's uh, every child is uh, as a product of a village so when when you speak to someone uh, what they are reflecting is the village that they grew up in if it was positive they are going to be encouraging you if it was negative uh, it will show so uh, having this open space uh, a play space a small retail store retailing small businesses it's it's a much larger and loftier dream for me and for you guys too um, I have a few pictures that I'm going to show you of my son still enjoying plant toys. He's eight years old, just for reference. And my other kids enjoying them as, as much. And my kids are not the most clean or the most tidy people because they're small. But I'm going to show you how one of the toys has held up for years um, in the next video. Hi guys, I'm back again. This is one of the earlier toys I got my son a couple of years ago. It looks pretty new. Uh, the tires tell another story. My son has continuously used it uh, without absolute, without no parent supervision. So uh, these toys are made of, uh, they're wooden toys, they're sustainable, they're beautiful, they're heavy. And let me sh tell you a secret. Initially, when you begin with, we're so used to being 
bombarded with uh, flashy things, things that look so pretty uh, and they're plastic most of the time. So when I came across wooden toys, most of the time I was like, remember, nobody played with me. So keeping that in mind, I was like, okay, I don't know what to do with this. So I left my child to my own accord. I did not think that I could, I didn't imagine that I can play with these two, you know. Um, I warmed up to them. It took me years to warm up to them, but I just kept doing the right thing. I knew that sustainable toys uh, are the future of our planet. And I understand that human beings are trying to go to Mars and everything, but just to be realistic, this is our home for now and for the foreseeable future. So we need to start thinking about uh, the planet as well. But like I said, everything is a balance. I do not know how to play with these toys, okay? Please understand that um, it might look counterintuitive, but even me as a pediatrician, I keep reminding you of my education, not to brag, but just to tell you that education, uh, especially in one field, does not equate wisdom or all being an all-knowing person learning is a journey so i warmed up to these toys it took me years to warm up to them and then i honestly in in a few years i developed um my appreciation of how useful these are number one they're you the kids are able to make use of them trust the child they will find a way to play with them my son found a way to play with these toys I couldn't okay um, he had this naturally inside of him he made use of his, his toys his wooden blocks uh, his anything you name it he made use of that okay I uh, I had I was more flexible I allowed him to paint and color and do whatever he wanted with these toys okay so uh, my flexibility uh, opened up a myriad of opportunity for him so because he was in a sp safe space he was able to experiment with us i encourage you to not only um, explore plant toys but uh, explore the sustainable uh, small businesses that are trying to do the right thing that they're, they're they're they are ethically sourced they are family run and they genuinely care about their products uh, why I'm laying this basis, these products are expensive and I'm the first to acknowledge this, okay? Because if you are used to being buying uh, products which are run of the mill, think to yourself, uh, most of the times I have thrown, and I know all of us have thrown all the plastic products out in a couple of months, okay? Even the stuffed toys, especially the stuffed toys because they get nasty and dirty and you know, we just throw them out. All the light and flashing and everything, and it loses its charm. Uh, the, this has been uh, a testament of, uh, it has been, you know, it's been eight years, honestly, since, um, or I guess seven, six, seven years since I got him this. It has been played with all my four kids. All four of them found a different way to play with them. I have seen uh, my kids are able to self-regulate, they are able to uh, self-entertain and this is what happens when you give them, um, you when you take them or provide them with opportunity and you, you know, set aside the time, be flexible, try to, you know, um, brainstorm different ways of playing with them and then just let them be and you will find it uh, completely rewarding okay so this is all from me guys um this was my a small snippet of my journey please continue supporting us i hope that if you're in maryland you will come and visit our store and see all the other great things handiworks bilingual story times that i have to offer we are right across bwi airport so if you fly into bwi come and say hi um 
just a small snippet. We have a, a, a program that is a community outreach program called Seen, Heard and Free. Um, we are trying to reach as many children as possible, uh, regardless of their financial status. Remember, Kelowna, I started Kelowna to change the mindset. Uh, when I became, when I decided to become a pediatrician, it was mostly because I wanted to work with kids to change their lives. And very quickly you realize that uh, that cannot happen without the family. And then after working for a few years, you realize it cannot happen without a community. Guys, nothing can happen without the involvement of a community nothing no great change will happen uh, if we as a community don't support it if we don't do the right thing uh, you might think that you don't have an influence on your neighbor's kids or on um, a newborn born in your community but trust me everything that you do trickles down to every member of the community all of us are affected we're all interconnected so please take care support small businesses support sustainable businesses try buying um, heirloom items like plant toys for a higher price they will be reward i promise you you will be happier and um, the earth will be happier and you will give your child a lifetime uh, a gift of problem solving and character development and we'll continue talking about uh, the benefits of uh, playing with sustainable toys and how it develops creativity in the next series. Thank you so much for joining me. Signing off, your host, Miral Khalil. Bye-bye.